In this video, you're going to learn how to build, set up, and tune a drum set for your worship band. One, two, three, four. Jake with churchfront.com, an online resource for worship leaders and creatives. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and you'll receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church. If you've been following my channel, you may know already I've been building a worship ministry from scratch at Mission Lakewood Church. One of my responsibilities is to make sure we get all the right instruments for this worship ministry. So one of the tasks I had is to find and build and tune a drum set for our worship band. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Caveat, I'm not a drummer myself, but I have a lot of friends who are really great drummers and they're going to help me in this process. I've already gotten help from Ben Blunt at worshipdrumcoach.com. He's kind of given me guidance as I'm selecting the right gear that's going to sound the best, but it's also going to fit in our budget. And then I'm really excited because today my friend Johnny Serrano, he's with All Claire in-ear monitors and he happens to live here in Denver. We go to the same church at Red Rocks. He's an audio engineer, but he's also a drummer. He's going to help me actually build this set and get it all tuned up because I know nothing about how to do that. So first things first, I need to unbox all this drum gear and make sure we have everything ready to go. We have our first preview service in like two days. So here's all the gear that we got from Sweetwater. So here's all the gear that we have for our new drum set for our worship ministry. Uh, we got this all from Sweetwater. I highly recommend shopping through them for your gear needs. They have great sales reps to help you out. And you know what? They didn't even pay me to say that. I just genuinely really love what they're doing as a company. Every time I've been shopping for gear for my worship ministry, talking to a sales rep on the phone has actually been really helpful. They can usually like make some special deals for you and stuff like that. Things that you can't necessarily get uh, by just ordering things online. So Sweetwater, thank you for your great service and helping us get this stuff ordered and getting it here and I've always been excited to do an unboxing video I've never done one of these but I see them all the time on YouTube so I'm gonna do an unboxing of this drum kit for worship ministry and I'm gonna briefly just go through each piece of gear and why we purchased it okay first I'm gonna start with shells um, I think I only have two boxes here this is a four-piece kit with a 20 inch I yeah I think everything's here um, I I'm not the type of guy who carries around a knife so I recommend getting some sort of sharp knife or scissors. What do we have here? We got we got a kick drum, 20 inch kick. Part of my philosophy of getting this drum set, I wanted something that's small. I only wanted a four piece kit. Um, and uh, this this was just a great price. I think this drum set was like seven or 800 bucks. It's got a nice walnut satin finish. I'm pretty, Pretty happy with the looks of that. I like the natural wood look going on here. Okay, so we got a 14 inch uh, floor tom, which will be great. Snare drum. Very pretty snare drum. Gotta take that head off there, put a better one on. Oh, it's a bunch of, uh, bunch of hardware. Uh, this is to hold the, the tom, the high tom on the kick drum. One more shell. Snare, high tom, we got a floor tom and a kick. That's a four piece set. Let's talk about the, the heads for the kick drum. Um, we wanna, again, I'm not a drummer. I just like do what other drummers who I know who sound good um, and know what they're talking about tell me to do. Um, so they, they recommend I get the Aquarian uh, kick drum heads. Uh, one of them's for the beater side and then one of them's for the, uh, the, the it's a ported one for the other side of the drum. And then uh, when it comes to heads, we replace the high tom, low tom, and the snare with um, this, the uh, Remo, the Vintage Emperor by Remo. These heads are coated. It's supposed to help give it a darker sound. I think that's why for worship, it's it's better to have that darker sound, uh, like my fan, friend uh, Ben Blunt from Worship Drum Coach said. Okay, now let's talk about hardware, which includes the, the throne, the cymbal stands, um, basically all the metal stuff for the drum kit. Uh, this is something I wanted to make sure we, we had some decent hardware that was, that was solid, it's not gonna fall apart on us. DW obviously is known for quality gear. That's why I got the uh, most, all this hardware is the DW3000 series. First we have the, th the drum throne here, kick pedal. I don't think I could ever, I could ever be a drummer. I mean, I always want to get better at playing drums, but there's just too much freaking gear.
Okay, another place we didn't want to compromise is on cymbals. I wanted to make sure, even though we weren't getting a top of the line drum set when it comes to shells, like we didn't get a $5,000 DW set, which would have been nice. Um, instead, we got some really, we want to get some nice cymbals because cymbals make a huge impact in worship. That, that's what people would complain about the most. Um, they can just be really harsh and obnoxious, so we want to get some high quality cymbals. We went with the Zildjian, Zildjian Worship Pack, right? This is made just for worship music. So this guy here on the, on the box, I was looking around some drum Facebook groups and Daniel Hathaway, Hathaway, I'm not sure what his name is, um, but I know he plays for All Sons and Daughters and um, I think he helped Zildjian figure this out. These cymbals are a little bit pricey. I think they're like $900 or $1,000 new, um, but you can, uh, we found these ones I think used or open box or something like that for like seven or $800. So the, the thing, the sound we want with cymbals is to be that darker sound. So that's what the Zildjian K Customs, to my understanding, have a darker sound that aren't gonna be as piercing or bright in worship, which is just, we want to have that kind of nice, full, warm wash sound to them. Okay, so I got most of my office uh, cleaned out. I got so much trash, which you can see right here. And I got all the drum equipment in the, uh, the room. I'm gonna actually try setting most of it up myself so that when Johnny gets here, I just really want him to be uh, tuning those drum heads. I don't wanna take too much of his time. Uh, I can obviously do the setup process myself. I know at least that much about drums. So, here we go. Why do they put these things in separate packages? It's like uh, it's like ketchup packages, right? They're like horrible for the environment. Don't use the separate packages and waste all this plastic. Just put it in a freaking bottle so that you're not polluting the ocean with a bunch of plastic. Sorry, I'm not really that much of an environmentalist, but this is just stupid. Ported kick drum head for the kick drum mic. Hey man drive towards, you're gonna kind of go down by this little back parking lot by, um, around the front. Dude. What's going on? Yeah. Good. Good to Good. see you. So I got my friend Johnny Serrano here with me. Johnny is um, a worship drummer. He's an audio engineer and you work with All Claire. Mm -hmm. um, and All Claire provides in-ear monitors for folks. So you guys should check out All Claire. I'll link it in the bottom of this video. Um, but yeah, Johnny is going to help me just get these drums set up and tuned. Uh, I feel like you don't need to spend like thousands upon thousands of dollars necessarily for like the nicest shells and stuff like that it's more yeah, it's in like more the tones yeah yeah more of like getting the tone right of the drum set mm -hmm. so that's why i went with this like it's a beginner drum set but like it's not like a, the cheapest one in right. the world yeah. um but really johnny recommended these these heads that we're putting on them um so yeah the main objective now is just to get get everything assembled get those heads on there get the tuned uh and make sure um the tone is just great so First, I like to stretch out the head, so what I do is tighten down, especially on the snare. I'll just tighten the heads pretty tight, and then push down on them, just to get them stretched out more, and then I'll leave it for a little bit. Okay. Normally, I want to leave it for like a day or two, but since we're on like a time crunch, yeah. we'll just let it go for a while, and I'll do that for every head. For me personally, I'm an audio engineer as well, I like deeper tone for toms, and for snare, really. Um, so. Working with it, I always have the bottom head tighter. Now I was taught this by a friend, a drummer friend of mine, a long time ago. Um, the bottom head a little bit tighter, the top head looser. It's gonna give you more resonance, um, but not like that crazy like ring that you get in like toms and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so once we get them like, like you can kind of tell here, they're starting to stretch out. Once they're stretched out, yeah. um, we'll start the tuning process. And that's just going by ear. Yeah. Going through each lug, seeing what the tone is, and just really going from there. Prefer coated heads because you get those thicker, deeper tones. Um, clear heads, they'll give you more of a bright, brighter tone. Um, just more resonance, more of that, all that like high frequency stuff. Mm -hmm. Personally, I don't like it, so that's why I go with coated. Um, and they last longer too, from what I found. And It's because it's too tight, so now we gotta loosen it. Okay. It's always trial and error. You just figure out what sounds good and then go with it. That's what I do at least.
So floor toms are a little more difficult because they're deeper. You have more overtones. Um, but we're going to go and see what it sounds like. I loosened it a little bit. <clears throat> Let's see. It doesn't sound too bad. Maybe a little deeper. Since we don't have the rack tom right now, um, it's hard to tell. But And some guys, they tune to a specific key. Um, you can do that. Um, but mainly for like worship drumming, you don't want to be tuning, and that's more for studio stuff. You don't want to tune for the key. You want to tune just what's going to sound good, what's going to be, give it more presence, give um, the depth that you want from a tom. Forgot, never mind. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong? What's wrong with that? Oh yeah. Oh, some. Some moron cranked this too hard and broke it, so sweet, man. All right, we're making good progress. Uh, we got to fix that high tom lug. We're going to go to our local uh, music shop, and we're going to grab some moon gels. Maybe they have some gaff tape and uh, a lug to fix this high tom. We're going to take my bike, but it'd be a safer option yeah, to, uh, to drive. modify parts yeah because everyone likes to make stuff differently the problem is fixed thanks to Dan thanks Dan welcome <laughs> All right, good news. We uh, fixed the uh, drum shell, that lug that was broke. Um, so we are up and running. These drums are gonna be functional. Thank you to Music Around. Thanks to Dan for taking the time to fix that and uh, make it work out for us. So everybody's setup is different. I like just two cymbals. Um, and I like the, I use the ride a lot for everything, crashing, Riding, pretty much, yeah, just everything. I hope you enjoyed this video of unboxing, setting up, and tuning a drum set for worship. Maybe if you're currently working on trying to build a set for your church in a set that's affordable, but also not the cheapest set in the world, I really feel like this is gonna be a great option. I'm excited to actually use this with the rest of the band um, at our first preview Sunday service in a couple days. Um, but yeah, like I said, Gretsch Catalina Club, 20 inch kit. Uh, this is a satin walnut maple. We got the custom uh, K symbols from Zildjian that are made specifically for worship. Um, and then we have the DW3000 hardware and we got the Remo Emperor vintage coated heads and moon gels. And I'm just really happy overall with the sound of this. I'm really grateful for Johnny for stopping by and getting this kit set up for me. I'm just not an expert drummer, but I do know what sounds good, at least in a worship context. If you're wanting to get any of this hardware yourself or any pieces of the drum kit yourself, I'd highly recommend downloading my worship toolkit. I have a link to that in the description of this video. And in that toolkit, I have all of my favorite gear, including this all of everything you see here with this drum set, um, all listed out for you in one convenient place so you can click those links and go shopping for them yourself. So go ahead, click the link in the description, complete that form, and I'm gonna email you instant access to the worship toolkit, and I hope that serves you well in your ministry. Please don't forget to subscribe to the Church Front channel, tell all your worship leader friends about it so it can help them as well. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining or both, please hit that thumbs up button.